The price of a home after someone goes into contract is most of the time negotiated after the offer has been accepted. What do I mean by this? So if you're wanting to negotiate a lower price on a house, you have really good chances of getting that lower price while you're in your inspection period, not necessarily up front when you're making the initial offer. What do I mean by this? Let's say you find a house for $300,000. But you want to get this home and negotiate down to 280000 Well, the challenge there is if the home has maybe two or three or four other offers on this home, it's going to be very hard to get the seller to accept your offer at 280000 because these other offers might be negotiating and offering a higher price than your 280000 Here's what I would recommend you do. Offer the full price of the house. Get the seller what they want or even go higher if you really like the home. And the reason why I say this is because once they accept your offer, you're going to go into the inspection period. This is the time, it's about 17 to 21 days that you have time to get an appraisal done, a home inspection, other inspections on the home. So I was looking at a home one year, this is about 10 years ago, and I ended up finding a really, really good deal, and I bought a really nice home that I negotiated just the, like the way I'm explaining this to you. So the home was listed for $425,000. I ended up offering four hundred and twenty-five dollars because I really liked this home. After I made the offer, I found out that there was three other offers on this house. Now, this kind of worried me and I really wanted the house and so I didn't I didn't want to like overpay for the house I wanted to get a fair price for the house and so what I did is I offered 515,000 I went from 425,000 to 515,000 now I knew the home was not worth 515,000 so the seller ended up accepting my offer over the other three offers so now it's just me and the seller negotiating and those three other offers are no longer in the picture. So I get my appraisal done I, during my inspection period, got my appraisal back, and what do you know that home only appraised for $450,000. So I asked for a price reduction down to $450,000. Now I was willing to pay the four fifty, dollars and I could have initially offered four fifty, dollars but I knew the other three offers weren't going to be willing to go to 500,000 or maybe even scared not realizing how the negotiating actually works. And so I got the home for 450. Now what would have happened if the seller did not accept my 450,000 price renegotiation? Well, I could have just walked away from the deal, you see, cuz that during that inspection period, it's 17 to 21 days. I can walk away at any time and get my deposit back, my earnest money deposit. And so this is a great way to negotiate on, a, on your first home. Here's the timeline of a typical negotiating period. So the first step is obviously to make your offer, step number one. Remember, this is not the final price of the home if they accept your offer. If there's two or three other offers on the home, you're going to want to make the best offer that you can possibly make. And remember that this is not the final price of the house. Then we go to the next step. Let's say they accept your offer. They accept your offer over the other two or three. Now it's just you and the seller negotiating. So now you have 17 to 21 days to get a home inspection. You have time to get an appraisal. You have time to get a roof inspection. All these other inspections that you'd like to get. Now during this inspection period, you're looking for issues and challenges or things that you want to renegotiate. And so after you get your inspections back, well, then you're in step number three where you're the renegotiation period. So this renegotiation period is where after your inspections, you then renegotiate the terms of the offer after you know exactly what is wrong with the property. So this renegotiating, now it's just you and the seller because the other two or three offers well, they're no longer in the picture because the seller accepted your offer. Now, during this period, you're still before your 17 to 21 day inspection period. The seller can either agree to your new terms or they can disagree. And if they disagree, of course, well, then you could just walk away, get your deposit back, and you only spent, you know, a few hundred dollars on your home inspection. 
depending on which inspections that you got. So in step number four, you agree on the price, the new price of the home after your inspections. And if the seller does agree to the new price, well, of course, then you can close on your home. And if, you, if the seller does not agree, then you get your deposit back. So this is the timeline. I hope this helps you. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions, and we'll talk to you very soon. See ya.